All right, so the question is, can you uh, monitor the work queue using the message filters? Well, yes, you can. There's a variable known as work queue hyphen count. You can use this variable to actually get the count and compare the, the work queue count with a certain number when you want to get notified, for example. So let's jump right into it. So you go ahead and run the command filters to configure a message filter. I'm going to say list just to make sure. Oh, I actually already made one for QMON. So I want to make one again. So I'm just going to clear. Are you sure you want to clear all the changes since the last commit? Yes. And uh, let's see. Filters. Uh, list. There you go. We don't have 12 right now. Okay, perfect. So uh, I'm going to do 12. Okay, say new and say work queue monitor. And I'm going to say if work queue hyphen count. So uh, here um, you got to be very, very cautious while making this change. So if you say, let's say, for example, you have the options available greater than, less than, uh, less than equal to, or greater than equal to, or you have equal to equal to. All right. This is the one that I would recommend equal to equal to. Why do I say that? For example, if you went for uh, greater than, let's say 2000, what would happen is you will get a notification for 2001, 2002, 2003, or whatever action you have defined, 2004, 2005, until let's say your work queue reaches 10,000. I hope not, but let's say it does. How many notifications are you going to get, right? It's going to be a mess. Don't do that. So that's why it's always recommended to go for equal to. So the same rule uh, applies to less than as well. So the work queue is one, you'll get a notification. Oh, it's less than 1,000 and so on. Don't do that. Okay. Um, so equal, equal to, let's say, in this case, I'm just going to test it out. So I'm just going to keep one, but I'm not pretty sure if I'm going to share the test with you right now because let's see. I'm not pretty sure how long the video is going to go for then. So if work you count equals equals one, then go ahead and notify whoever you want to notify. In this case, I want to notify myself. So I'm going to say, let's say, Cisco.com and uh, and close it off. Close it off. Put a dot. And we're good. It says one filters added. In this case, I want to make the commit because if I don't make the commit, then I won't get to know. I mean, this, this change is not going to reflect, right? So commits are extremely necessary for these kind of commands. So uh, created a message. Whoa. Message filter uh, for work queue monitoring, right? So we should be good with that. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to say tail mail logs say yes and i'm gonna tail the mail log so this is so this way i'll get the live events right so i'm gonna go ahead and try to send an email to myself at cisco.com i'm gonna say subject test work queue and test body Okay, I'm going to say send now. Okay, I shall I shall receive the email anytime now. Okay, I'm going to send multiple emails. Let me go ahead and send multiple emails now. There are a lot of things I've defined. I hope nothing else is blocking the email. I'm going to say send again. But I'm pretty sure... Whoa, there are other message filters doing stuff as well. So testing subject message filters. So there are a lot of message filters. Uh, I hope we're reaching the message filter that I wanted to, you know, I wanted to get executed. Not sure if this is really a message. Okay, let me just go ahead and verify that once. Um, let me say filters. I'm going to say one. I'm going to say um, list. And okay, I got the message anyways. Well, these are not active except the last one, append subject. This one's active and the last one work human that we just created. Now, what is the email that we got? Let me just show it to you for, for the message filter 
um, you know, the work work queue monitoring message filter. Okay, let me just show it to you. All right, so this is uh, the email that I got, and it was received from mailer-demon at cisco.com. This is something you can configure from the return addresses and so on. This is a separate topic altogether. Um, this is the message you got. A message was processed that matched your message filter WQ underscore mon. Well, this way you get to know, okay, well, this message filter just got triggered. And I know that the condition in this was if the work queue count reaches 1,000 or I know it, it was one in this case, but in, in, in a practical scenario, you'll have as 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, something like that, right? You'll get to know, oh, this message filter was triggered. And uh, that means the mess uh, the work queue count has reached 1,000. So you're going to be, okay, I guess I may need to take some action, but I'm not pretty sure. So let's say you have another message filter that is created for one uh, 3,000, right? So you get notified when uh, work queue hits uh, 1,000. You also want to get notified, let's say if things really don't get better, you want to get notified at 3,000. So you get another um you know uh, notification email just like this in that case it won't be called work human you'll call it something else so that you're able to understand correctly that which uh message filter was uh triggered this notification so you'll get to know okay uh i've got 3000 emails in my work queue now things are not looking good i need to take some action so at that time you either go ahead and uh, skip some filters or do whatever you want to do uh, in order to fix that problem in case you don't want, don't know what you do, uh, what you should do um, you should uh, go ahead and uh, you know open attack case that's something that will definitely help you all right uh, well uh, let's see if we got anything else that we need to uh, look into. Okay, you know what? Uh, there's a, there's a better way of actually uh, looking at the message um, output when you get the notification, right? So uh, let me explain it to you this way. So when you go ahead and create a filter, right? You say new, for example. In this case, I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to say work queue monitoring. Let's say 1000. I want to name it like that as well so that I can understand from uh, the message filter name as well. Okay, 1000 is the count right now. So I can say if work queue okay if work queue hyphen count uh equals equals one uh, i don't want to waste my time with that okay now here's the thing that i was talking about to so notify you want to notify yourself or whatever you whoever you want to notify right asan at the network viking.com now the notification uh, the notification template itself uh, we couldn't find much information in there right so in order to fetch that information you can actually mention something like this the work queue has reached uh 1000 2000 3000 4000 based on this name right now i can say that okay this one's uh for 1000 so i'm going to keep it at 1000 right here right so once you're you're done with that you close it off you do this you hit enter okay um yeah the syntax looks fine to me you you hit a dot at the end hit enter and it says one filter is added so you're good after that commit the change so uh where are you going to see this the work queue has reached 1000 so if i was to open that again uh okay that does not look good yet yeah, right here okay so this is where you're gonna see it uh right here Instead of message notification, right? Instead of message notification, you're going to see this uh, this message. The work queue has reached 1,000. So this is a simple way of making sure that you just understand it by the subject line, that by the notification itself at the very top that, okay, 1,000 reached. We don't have to panic right now. We still have a couple of thousand left before we hit that panic mode. Okay, that should be fine for this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the video and please do let me know in the comments section in case you want to uh, you want me to make videos or on any other features of the ESA or or anything in general that you know I can help you with. Thank you so much. You have a great day ahead. Goodbye.